Another question I get asked a lot on the new Samsung devices is how to fix various Bluetooth connection issues. So today I want to show you how to reset all of your Bluetooth connected devices and reset the data so that you can start fresh, which more times than not will fix any Bluetooth connection issues that you're having with the Samsung Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And there are a couple of ways to reset Bluetooth devices. One is with the network, resetting the network service, and that sometimes work, works, and I'll show you how to do that later. But this specific tip usually helps out people that I come in uh, contact with who has Bluetooth connection issues, especially devices that they've connected in the past that for some reason has stopped connecting or working properly. We start that by opening up the settings application. And then we're going to go down and look for, then tap on the apps option. This is just going to show us our regular user apps. So we're going to need to tap on this three dot menu at the top right. And then we're going to tap on the show system apps option. And you can either search for Bluetooth at the top or you can just scroll down a bit so you see the Bluetooth application. This is the Bluetooth system application. So once we tap that, we can go ahead and tap on the storage option. Now, I will say doing this is going to reset your device when it comes to Bluetooth connected devices. You're going to keep your photos and your videos and all that, but every Bluetooth device that you have paired will need to be repaired or paired again, however you want to say that, after you do this. So this is usually not a problem because people only have one or two connected devices, but I've seen some people that have had 5, 10, 15 or more that really dislike having to do this. So once we get to the storage section of the Bluetooth system app, we're just going to tap on the clear cache button down there at the bottom. And then we're going to tap on the clear data. And you see once we tap on that clear cache, the file size amount for the cache reset to zero. And now when we clear data, you're going to see the data section reset to zero. Now just to make sure that everything goes through, um, it's not a bad thing to go ahead and restart your phone. That way the Bluetooth or Android can build cache data for the Bluetooth app. Again, not required, not needed at all, but it may help in certain situations. Turning it off and turning it back on again is usually never a bad thing. So once you have reset the cache and data for the um, system Bluetooth application, you can then go into your Bluetooth section and pair your devices again.